Hi friends, happy Monday. Welcome back to Math Today. Today for math, you will need pages 383 and three, through 386 from your Math and Visions workbook, as well as a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna work on our learning target that says, I can separate numbers. So we're gonna practice taking a whole group and breaking it into two parts and making it into a subtraction sentence. So remember, when we subtract, our number gets smaller. We start with a whole group, we take some of the things away, and then we make our number smaller. So we know that we're subtracting when we see this symbol right here, the subtraction symbol, or what else can we call it? The minus sign, right? This tells us that we're taking away, take away. So before we jump into our activity for today, let's go over our numbers, counting, and addition practice. Ready? Let's get through it zippity quick. You guys are such smarty patarties. Here we go. We have 18, 17, 13, 9, 6, 4, 14, 11, 8, 12, 10, 19, 20, 15, 5, 7, 16, 1, 3, 2. Very good job. Now let's practice some counting, okay? Remember when we count forward, our number gets bigger. When we count backwards, our number gets smaller. So let's start out by reaching up and down. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now reaching out front, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Er. Now let's reverse and rewind to count backwards from 21 to zero. Ready? Here we go. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Very good. Give yourself a roller coaster cheer. Click, click, click. Oh, woo. Excellent job. All right. Let's go through our addition fluency practice, but today, let's just say the answers. We've been practicing saying the whole sentence. Let's see if we can just give the answer. Remember, when we're adding, it's the opposite of subtracting. So when we're adding, our number gets bigger, except when we add with zero, then our number stays the same. All right, ready? See if you can beat me to the answer. Here we go. We have zero, five, three, four, three, two, one, two, four. Very good job. All right, excuse me, let's go ahead and jump into our Envision math book so that we can practice our learning target for subtracting. All right, friends, we're gonna start on page 383 with our solvent chair. Our directions say that there are five parrots in a tree. Two fly away. We're going to use counters to draw pictures and show how many are left. So when it says we're gonna use counters, we're just gonna use the shape of a circle to represent the story. So we're gonna start with our whole group. They tell us there are five parrots to start with. So let's draw five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how many in our story did it say flew away? Two, so we're gonna mark out two. One, two, two fly away. Now let's circle our leftovers to show how many are left. And let's count. One, two, three, three left over. So our sentence, if we were writing this, would say five take away two is how many left over? Three left over. Very good job. All right, let's go ahead and skip to our guided practice page. 
So we're going to use the pictures now to help us write a subtraction sentence or start one. But instead of writing the answer to, to the sentences, we're going to circle the leftovers, okay? So we're still going to show all of our work that we've been practicing showing. So let's take a look at number one with the colorful looking animal. All right, ready? Let's count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four. There are four all together. So let's trace our four on the first line. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. Now we know that we're taking away because we some, see some X's on some of them. So let's put our subtraction sign in the middle. And then it shows us there are two animals with X's. So we're gonna write a two on the next line. First a candy cane, then a shoe. So now we're showing four, take away two. Let's circle our leftovers is how many left over? One, two left over, okay? So we start with our whole, whole group of four, we take two away, we have two left over. We're not adding, we're taking away. Let's look at the next picture with the swans. Let's count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, oh, using a different mouse today, six, seven, eight. How many are there all together? Eight. So let's write an eight. First an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. Now we see that there are X's on some of the animals, so that tells us we're taking some away. So let's put our minus sign or subtraction symbol. And how many X's do you see? Let's count. One, two, three. So on the next line, we're going to write a three. Okay. So now let's read our sentence as it is. Eight take away three is, okay, now let's circle our leftovers and let's count how many are inside. One, two, three, four, five left over. Okay, very good job. So we're gonna skip the next page since that's what you're gonna do on your own. And we're gonna go to the very last page where we always see our challenger, page 386. Okay, so we are going to listen to a story for each of the problems, and then we're gonna show exactly what we just did to match the story, okay? So it says in the first problem where there are owls, it says there are five owls, but one fly away. How many are left over? So let's show our work. First, we need to count to show that there are five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's make our five straight line down, halfway around, head on top, five is found. Okay, now it shows us that we're subtracting and it tells us how many owls fly away. One, so let's put an X on the last one and write a one on the line. So our sentence says five take away one. Now let's mm -hmm. circle our leftovers to show that there are how many left over? One, two, three, four. Good. So you've written your sentence except for the answer at the end. This is just getting us to practice the first part of our subtraction sentence, okay? So it's showing we have a five owls, one fly away, there are four left over. Let's take a look at our next story with the birds, okay? So it says there are eight birds and five fly away. So let's start with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna write our eight on the first line, okay? And now we're taking away. We know that because we see X's, so we're gonna put a minus sign in the middle and let's count how many X's there are. One, two, three, four, five. So let's write our five on the line. And our story even told us five flew away. Now let's circle how many are left over. And let's count how many are in the circle. Mm, whoops. One, two, three. So eight take away five is 
three left over. Very good. Now let's look at number nine. It shows that there are six birds. So let's count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to write our six on the line down to a loop. A six makes a hoop. And it shows we're taking some away with the X's. So we're going to put a subtraction symbol. Okay. Now, how many have X's on them? One, two. So two birds fly away. Now let's circle the leftovers to show we know these are the guys that didn't fly away. They're left over and let's count them. One, two, three, four. Six take away two is four left over. All right, so on the very last problem, it says that we're gonna draw the counters, the circles to match the story and then write a matching sentence. So it says that nine birds are sitting on a tree. Some fly away, but three are left. Ooh, so this time it tells us how many are left. So we need to figure out how many fly away. So let's start with our whole group of nine. Let's draw nine circles. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I'm going to count and mark out to make sure I have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I didn't draw too many or not enough, so I'm going to write my nine on the line. I know I'm taking some away, so I'm going to put my minus sign or subtraction symbol. But how many does it tell us are left over at the end? There are nine birds on a tree. We don't know how many fly away, but there are three left over, right? So let's circle the first three. One, two, three. Which means that we need to put X's on the ones outside of the circle and count. Let's count how many were flying away. One, two, three four, five, six. Very good. So on the next line, we need to put a six to show nine birds were on a tree, six flew away, three were left over. Okay. If at all throughout this, as always, I have gone too fast. You can always rewind the video to catch yourself up. We're going to go ahead and go back to our page 385 to go over what you're going to post to your teacher's Google Classroom today. So on page 385, you're going to do the exact same thing we've been practicing. You're going to count the birds, write how many you have all together, write your subtraction symbol to show that you're taking some away. On the next line, you're going to write how many are taken away. So how many do you see with X's and then circle your leftovers and count how many are left. Okay, make sure to show all your steps like we just practiced so that you understand what it means to take away or subtract. Great job today, friends, with your math, and keep up the great work. Tomorrow, we'll keep working on subtraction.